What is this, please? Hello, I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Ultron's back, 100% confirmed. Maybe it's 1% confirmed or no percent confirmed, but as Batman says in the best Batman film, Batman vs. Cape Man, we have to take a 3,000%, 4% chance as an absolute certain chance. 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certain. And I do genuinely believe there is a chance. So let's take a look at what we know. Let's take a step back. There was a post-credits scene, uh, which may or may not have been inspired directly by Halo, but this subtle inclusion of the Halo music makes me think that it definitely was. Where it is revealed that old Vision is a different version than the Wonder Vision version, and he is a white version of the white Vision version, is a soulless version of Vision, and not the Wonder Vision version, who is a different version from the comics. <laughs> so, with soulless Vision absolutely categorically confirmed, there's no way he's going to just be the old Vision because that creates no drama or conflict. They either going to conjoin together. Real Vision's going to die. Well, Wonder Vision Vision's going to die. The one with the personality, and then then we're left with the MCU with this kind of one who might regain. Whatever. I'm not really asked about that. What I am asked about is that I believe one King of Spades, James King Spader, is going to voice it. It's obviously going to be played by Paul Bettany, but voiced over by James Spader. And do you know why I think this? Not because I'm some sort of casting expert, but if we take a simple Google search <laughs> of the WandaVision cast, you'll see everybody, absolutely everybody. And if we click just one, he's there. James Spader, voice Ultron. I've not seen anyone talk about this. Now, granted, I didn't find this. A friend sent it me to, to me this morning. But you think that these all these news outlets and uh, bigger, much bigger channels than mine or fans of this than me would be all over this. And I, for one, if it is true, I can't. I feel like this has got to be some sort of like verified by the companies to include the cast lists as, as like fact on Google. So I feel like the yeah, it's legit. He's coming back, and I hope it ain't flashbacks. Not really down for flashbacks, but I hope where it says voice. It's going to be the voice in Vision's body and his full plan, which is, which is what he wanted in Age of Ultron. He wanted to be put in that body, come to fruition. And I, I feel like wrapping that up in one episode might be a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a stretch, especially with all the other uh, plot lines going on. But perhaps that could be season two of WandaVision is them being like, oh, maybe the Vision that survived i'm predicting that one division vision dies and that this one survives i feel that would be a really compelling villain again you know he, he looks like the character we love but he's very much exactly what the villain of one of the avengers films wanted so yeah he's there he's clear as day bro he ain't hiding from us uh it's absolutely just clear as day <laughs> <laughs> no one's talking about it. So that's what I think is going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to actually be in it, even though he's definitely on the cast listing? Or do you think I'm full of shit? Uh, <laughs> let me know. Give me give me grief. Let's talk. Let's talk down below. And uh, if you liked this, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. And if you double like, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Touchy boop!